Hey Tampa Bay, this is Kevin Couture coming to you live from Dade City, Florida, where we're featuring a three bedroom, two full bath RV carport home. And I wanna take you inside and show you a little bit about it. As you notice right off the bat, you see the carport right there. But the home shows very lovely with the large front porch. But first we're gonna talk about this RV carport. This RV carport is 14, almost 14 feet tall, uh, 50 feet deep, and 20 and a half feet wide approximately. It's huge. You could definitely put four cars in there. You could put uh, a fifth wheel, class A, class B, class C would fit in there. It's definitely got room for the larger RVs. Let's go ahead and take a little, little bit about it. The first thing we see is how deep it is. And then on the left, we have RV uh, electrical hookup and water. It's got a 50 amp hookup with water. It's, it's high, it's really huge in here. Let's go ahead and check out some more. Here's your backyard. There's a whole bunch of room in here for a huge RV. RV could be right here next to you. Be sleeping while you're sleeping. Almost 14 feet high, 20 and a half feet wide. This is huge. Fifty feet deep, approximately. It's awesome. Alrighty, let's head on in. But first, we're going to show you the storage workshop here. This storage workshop has electricity in it. It's lit up. It's got built-in shelving. The height is uh, twelve feet high, and it's eight and a half feet wide by twenty-two and a half feet deep, approximately. There's a couple workbenches in here too. It's insulated. It's great for keeping the heat out in the summer and the cold out in the winter. You've got a couple of workbenches here. And this bench is uh, has an area where you could do arts and crafts, uh, maybe some painting, electrical outlets as well. There's a stand-up bench over there and a portable bench as well. This is a 12 foot high ceiling at the center. And this is the entry into the utility room, but we're gonna go in the front door, but I just wanted to show you the cool features it has on the outside. And we'll come back for more. Alrighty. This home is three bedrooms, two full baths, It has tile in the bathrooms, the kitchen, the dining room. It comes with all the appliances you see. It also has all the furniture you see as well, except for the setting on the table here. Stainless steel sink. It's got stainless steel washer, dishwasher. Range, refrigerator, microwave, all included. A lot of cabinet space. There is an island right here also. And the island has an electrical outlet in the back. There we go. It's a great looking house. It's got volume ceiling. The kitchen has recessed lighting. There's molding at the top, the crown molding. And this is a view from the front. The dining room is in the front of the home. All the window treatments are included. Oh, 
already. Let's head on into the, the living room. Back there is the slider to go outside. It's your rear entry. Ceiling fans with lights in all the rooms. You can see this uh, the vaulted ceiling. And the crown molding at the top. And this is the view from the living room into the kitchen. Alrighty, let's head on into the master bedroom. All the furniture here is going with the home as well. It features a vaulted ceiling. Ceiling fan with a light kit. Carpeting in the bedrooms, tile in the bathroom wet areas. Carpeting is also in the closets. The vanity features a double sink, many cabinets, huge mirror, electrical outlets at the front there. You got your double sinks. In here we have the master closet. It is a vaulted ceiling as well. Carpeted. It's huge. This home is three bedrooms, two bath, RV carport. Square footage is 1,430. And into the commode shower area. The shower is in excellent shape. The tiles feel like they've been very well taken care of. Chrome on off valve. There's also a bench in the shower as well, a sitting bench. The shower door is fogged for privacy. The shower uh, head is removable and it's in excellent shape. The shower door has handles to put towels on. And this is a great feature, although this is a 55 and up community, a handle to assist you getting in and out of the shower. And of course you got your commode. The commode shower is a private area with the door. Let's look at the cabinet space in here. Well, there's a lot of cabinet space as well. And you got three additional cabinets right here. They go from almost the ceiling to the floor. There we go. And let's take one look, last look at the master. The ceiling is vaulted, comes with a ceiling fan, lights, and there are smoke detectors in here. Carpet in the master. Heading out of the master, we have back into the living room. Straight ahead is the sliding glass door, which leads as your rear exit. Window treatments come with the home, and all the furniture you see as well. The vaulted ceilings create an atmosphere of uh, warmth. You get that feeling it's it's an open open era. And the front bedroom is uh, features the window, crown molding, ceiling fan with a light. It says the high ceiling as well. It's vaulted. Sliding barn doors on the closet. It goes way up there.
very nice rooms. Trim molding at the top there. Very nice panel doors. The handles are latches, they're not knobs. This is the view from the front bedroom into the living room, kitchen and dining. Alrighty, let's head into the third bedroom. The third bedroom in the rear of the home has a ceiling fan and a light. The vaulted ceiling with the crown molding, fire detector. And this room in the rear features a walk-in closet and the walk-in closet is lit up. And it has a vaulted ceiling as well, trim molding at the top. And to the right is the guest bathroom. The guest bathroom has large a vanity, one single sink, three cabinets, and it also has a medicine cabinet. This bathroom features a bathtub. The tile is in excellent shape. It's very clean. The chrome is very clean and shiny. The shower head is looks barely used. It's very clean. It looks like an oversized bathtub in here. Take a look underneath the cabinets. A lot of space in there, it's huge. There you go as well. This is nice, you have the extra uh, vanity space over here. There's the medicine cabinet again. Of course, you got your commode. And the bathroom does have a window, it does open up. It has the vaulted ceiling in here as well. Alrighty, leaving the guest bathroom. You see we got the dining room straight ahead and also the kitchen. We're gonna take another look at that. Plenty of cabinets in here. Nice size dining room, recessed lighting. Crown molding throughout. A lot of cabinet space, we'll show that. Looks in good shape. Stainless steel sink, dishwasher stainless steel. This cabinet is huge as well. We'll take a look at that one. That's a corner cabinet, and the way the door is open, it makes it for very easy access. Oh, this one will go first. It's a deep corner cabinet there. would be for maybe spices in there above the range refrigerator we'll take a look at all these cabinets there's extra cabinet space in the kitchen and go from the floor almost to the top of the ceiling All the appliances come with the home. You will need to provide your own washer and dryer. The furniture you see, except for the dining table setting, will all go with the home. The island is, is pretty big too. It's got electrical outlet in the back. Look at all that storage space. My goodness.
Alrighty, we see the tile on the floor, carpeting in the living room. Ceiling fans throughout. This home is available. It's move-in ready. And it is located in Dade City, Florida, at Country Air Manor. I want to show you on the map where it's at. It's located off uh, Highway 98. I'll zoom out a little bit. You can see where Tampa Bay is. Brooksville, Dade City, Zephyr Hills. It's kind of in between the two. Off Highway 98, where that blue dot is. Not too far from Orlando. Go down Highway 98, I-4 straight up. This home is a move-in ready. Three full bedrooms, three bedrooms, two full baths. Open floor plan, 1,430 square foot RV carport manufactured home located on a landscape corner lot with a great view and a great 55 plus community with great amenities, swimming pool, clubhouse, shuffleboard, horseshoe pit, walking trails, and a place to walk your pets. Kitchen has recessed lighting, mini cabinets, and lights under the cabinets too. Tile backsplash, an island for serving guests. Tile in the kitchen and bathroom areas. Ceiling fan with lights. Ask about the furniture that stays with the new owner. Uh, attached workshop that has built-in storage shelves. Since you, can, since you own the land in the community, you'll build equity too. Low monthly amenity fees. Residents include water, sewer, trash removal, and use of common property and heated pool. That's uh, since you own the home, you pay a small monthly fee of about $127 per month to take care of the water, sewer, trash, um, common areas, and the heated and uh, taking care of the pool. And special note that Country Air Manor is a family-owned community and the clubhouse is a hurricane shelter should you need it. That is comforting to know. Let's go and take a look at a quick slideshow I have of the home, the property. Maybe this last a couple minutes. I do want to thank you all for joining me with this home tour. I enjoyed it. If you would, please like, share, and pass around this uh, home tour. I would really appreciate it. My name is Kevin Couture, KevinInTheUSA.com. Hashtag KevinInTheUSA. All social media platforms on the internet. If you are interested in this home or any other home that is you have your sights on, please connect with me and I would surely enjoy being your personal search engine.
The home has the community has a clubhouse, a shuffleboard, heated swimming pool. There's a pool table inside. Plenty of areas to walk around. It's a very safe, quiet, 55 and up community. The list price in this home is $185,000, and you do own the land. You won't be paying any rent. Clubhouse is very large. The clubhouse also is a hurricane shelter should you need it. Thank you all. I do appreciate you coming in and joining me for this home tour. We're going to go outside and take one more look at the front of the home. And we will end the tour shortly. Huge walk-in um, storage and workshop. This is the view of the front of the home. Excellent view. Looks like we got a little bit of uh, summer rain. This RV carport is 50 feet deep, 20 feet wide, and 14 feet at the beam right there. Definitely take care of your RV storage needs right here next to your home. Thank you all, and please share this. Be safe out there. Wear sunscreen, lip balm. If it's raining, slow down. Thank you all. Have a great day.